KKLINE's Jeff Nguyen joins us now with more on reaction for Capitol Hill. Well, Peter and Suzanne, nearly 30 years after Americans watched Anita Hill go public with accusations of sexual harassment against a Supreme Court nominee, we are hearing from another professor about a pick on the high court. This time, her name is Christine Blasey Ford. Tonight, Judge Brett Kavanaugh could be seen inside his suburban D.C. home as he faces sexual assault allegations during his Supreme Court confirmation process. The accusations come from Christine Blasey Ford, a research psychologist who teaches at Palo Alto University and Stanford. Jessica Levinson is a professor at Loyola Law School. Judge Kavanaugh was sailing through the confirmation process, and I think now it's going to be a bumpier road. Cameras were outside Ford's Northern California home after she spoke for the first time to the Washington Post. During an interview, she said Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when they were at a high school party in suburban Maryland in the early 80s. She said Kavanaugh was stumbling drunk, corralled her into a bedroom, pinned her to a bed, and tried to grope her. Kavanaugh says, I categorically deny this allegation. I did not do this back in high school or at any time. While on earth over the past four to six weeks, hasn't it been discussed? Before the Washington Post story was published, Republicans on the Judiciary Committee were critical of ranking member Dianne Feinstein, who was aware of the allegations but did not disclose it to the wider committee, instead sharing it with the FBI. They've had this, this stuff for, for uh, three months. Uh, if they were serious about it, they, they, they should have told us about it. The California Democrat tweeted, I support Mrs. Ford's decision to tell her story. It's hers to tell, and it must be taken seriously. I find her credible, and the attacks on her must stop. The atmosphere over Judge Kavanaugh's confirmation process is drawing comparisons to Anita Hill, who 27 years ago accused Clarence Thomas of sexual harassment before he was confirmed to the high court. This time around, it may end up being a numbers game because Republicans have a larger majority in the Senate. I still think that ultimately he will be confirmed. And tonight, Republican Senator Jeff Flake from Arizona says he's not comfortable voting for Kavanaugh until he learns more about the allegations. That makes Kavanaugh's prospects more complicated because all 10 Democrats on the committee oppose his nomination. The vote on Kavanaugh is scheduled for Thursday. Now back to you.